Happy Monday and welcome back to Off the Sticks. Another week starting today. We're going to talk about a lot. We have to talk about the roast. We have a draft coming up, the hottest new dog in Smash. We're going to recap the MASH challenge that I sent out last week. And then a little bit later, we'll have a, an argument about food, but we'll get to that in a bit. First, a word from our sponsor. Diaper Quest is the challenging new MMORPG from Sturkis Studios that takes players on a remarkable journey with allies and opponents all, all over the world. Choose from seven different player classes and 13 unique races and battle powerful enemies that threaten your way of life. With a robust DVP system as well as a load of end game content, Diaper Quest is the MMO experience that you've been searching for. Sorry, how, how much end game? How much end game conquest was there? End game? You said a lot. There's a load of it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's funny, right? Welcome back. Ooh. We got that diaper quest money, and we got that melee this weekend. They finally, got, they paid us a lot. Yeah. Pfft. I, 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 they have a lot of venture capitalism. Apparently, it's a huge demo that they're trying to reach. It's a lot, but it's a drop in the bucket compared to the lawyer fees that we're going through. Can't talk about NDA, but... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, you make one joke about one guy. Funny joke. Worth it. Really good. Worth it. Either way, we're out of the dry spell for at least a brief period because we got a Smash tournament this weekend. That's right, it's yeah. Been baby um, minute. Holy moly. And this one's this one's pretty hot. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Yeah. So remember when we did the DreamHack draft for Montreal? DreamHack? Yes. It was like this DreamHack draft for Montreal. We had to like find players. We had to like be like uh, and it was hard. Yeah. Like you, Atomic Ball Sack was on the cusp of like, should we put him in the top fifteen? Yeah, should we just put him on the main slide? Should, should we Maybe we should. Do you want to see the, the, the fucking slide for the roast? Show it. It's out of control. Banana zipper. Throw it up on there. Boom. Look at all these people that are like... Zane? Yeah, Zane's going. Santi? Dude. Oh my god. This is insane. This is like worth thinking about for real hard times. It's like going from... Uh, who's the, the, the kid in Harry Potter? Ron Weasley. No, no, no. The... the Crab. It's like going from Harry's Christmas Goyle. to the. You're killing it. Is it Goyle? No, it's the kid that he lives with, Harry. I think it's like Ned Schneebly or something. Is it? Either way. You say Ned Schneebly. I really like the name. <laughs> uh, there's a lot to pick from. That's exciting. So we can have a draft that's like that's intense. So the the question is, do we do five or do we do more than that? I was saying five, but like I'm looking at this and there's I'm there's so many. I'm saying oh Cho. It's calling out to me. Oh, Cho. <laughs> Cho! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm saying Ocho. I'm saying we do the draft like we did last time. If you didn't tune in, shame on you. But we did Four a draft three. for the Montreal DreamHack tournament that has 10K prize pool. What does this have? It has a 3K. 3K pop bonus for singles, 1K for doubles, I believe. It's like people heard, you know, who's on the dais, and they said, I got to come out for that. Yeah, they say, I really got to see what Ludwig has to say. <laughs> excellent t and, your resume of stand up <laughs> is such a hot commodity. One day we'll do a review of your old uh, stand-up. Please to God, no. I don't think that passes in 2018 terms. Really? Your material? Well, the abortion joke might not. No. Abortion's chill. It's actually good to talk about it. Then the gay joke. I There's oh. a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> hey, college is a weird time for everybody. It's a weird time for everybody. Anyway, so we got a flip. Do you have a coin? Yes, always. You're always prepared, and I love it, even though you showed up late. That's why we started late, because you showed up late. It wasn't cool. He always does this. Okay. Oh, all right. Hey Siri, flip a coin. I, we didn't even... Heads. It's heads this time. Fuck that, dude. Come on. Siri, two out of three. That's not fair. No, I won. God damn you. Go ahead. Mogul Win back anyway. at it again. You'll just pick dumb shit. So this is a snake draft. We get eight picks each. Did you do it in order? No, not really. The first column... And then the second column, but then it kind of it just I'm gets really to see messy. like if you snuck in like hungry box column three like no no it's <laughs> like, like I, I would look at it all because all like all columns have serious players okay but it's it's just it's really hard to tell well I'm gonna start off the right way because I understand that some people might be drinking that is not hard confirmed but I will say that some people are gonna take it a little less seriously yes yes even though it's a real tournament 
very real with 3K and always. a lot of people to prove your worth against. So that's why I'm dodging a few names. I'm just going to take the safe option, my man, S Fat. Okay, that's fair. Give me your pen. We need to. Yes. Oh, I have my own. You got, all right. You, Prepare. You going to keep track? I have my own, yeah. So prepared. Your hair is so nice. Uh, I will take Zane. Okay. He's the new hotness. Ah, yeah. He's hey, the can, new Zipper, hotness. can you right click to view instructions really quick? Because we just got to. He's not going to like that. He never likes when we point out his mistakes. No. Uh, actually, really upsets him. Oh, and he's going to have a word with us later. <laughs> he wouldn't stop last time. Yeah, and it, it was like off the clock. Like he was yeah. you know, able to talk. He just kept making his zipper sound. <laughs> it's like, use your words. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, the role is really getting to him. Jesus um, I pick Zane, and then I also pick. Ah, this is hard as heck. Army. Oh wow, that's a that's a baller pick. That's a baller pick. I won't I won't front. Bold? No baller. Like it's, that's just a good pick. It's a good pick. He's a good. Pick. Uh, I'm not gonna. And he's front. in the second column. I kind of that is a bit of a bamboozle. I hope you didn't. Uh... No, I'm fine. I will take S2J. I gotta dodge the dignitas boys. <laughs> Hashtag no faith. And I will go straight for Pew Pew U. I'm all in on CLG right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's got cro oh, Zipper oh, was crossing oh, it out he's for insane. us. He's insane. That's why he was, and that's, uh, you know. I'm going to zip him down tonight. We made fun of him. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me, let me add that, that zipper heat that you have. Oh. You guys All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to read You need it. to disclose your relationships to HR. Well, no, I mean. Not, we don't really have to do that. You, you literally do. What happens if I don't? Pick your pick. All right, uh, I get two more. Yes. And last time you took Zane and Army, so. Oh, boy, girl, boy. Yeah. Uh. Just pick. I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. You get Shit. the clock's running out. Fiction. I pick. You're going for all the new hotness. And I pick. It's like you went on Reddit and you said who was trending this past. Shut week. up! You know I've been following fiction and all his weird takes on Twitter. Just because you guys met at a BDSM party doesn't mean you have a connection now. It, actually, it does mean that. That's where you connect with people. Next pick. I can't do this. There's too much pressure, Santi. Wow! What a. You're making some baller insane. picks. You're My making some insane. baller picks. My team is a lot safer compared. You know what? Let me go in on the two boys who I have no faith will make top eight, but I will take them lucky in hugs. Really? Yeah. As your lawyer and personal chef, I would not pick hugs. Like, I just wouldn't. I don't. I think hugs understands that if he doesn't make top eight at his own tournament, like that's an L. Do you know how much he wants to be roasted? Do you, do you know what he told me when I was collecting roast material and jokes and stuff? No. He said anything goes. Anything. You know I had to cut down his set? Wow. He said wild shit that he could say but I could never say. Yeah. Like it went hard. He doesn't care is what I'm saying. Yeah. And you gotta, I'm saying a man with nothing to lose, I it's want either the, man the most powerful can, yeah. or the most weak. I want the man who can take a shit on his chest and mm. then take a shit on everyone else's chest on my team. I'm going for Team Dignitas. I got Team Dignitas, Team CLG, yeah. and then S2J up in there. You're really I'm taking them. You're really teamed TF up. I I'm only got teamed. two team boys. All right. Two for me. Let's see. Boys, I choose Squid and Absent Page. Absent page, I didn't see him. He's right there in the middle. Nice. Right. Okay. The center. Yep. Oh, uh, there he is. Column two. Middle of column two. Great. That's where he was. I'm going to take baller pick. Okay, Zane's not on the board. I just have to make sure that my I head. I took Zane. Yes. Oh, Zipper, okay, okay, okay. Look how. And Army's got to. Army's got to. Zipper went to calligraphy school. I'm going to take no Eddie Mexico. That. That's such a genius play, right? Because he's traveling from Mexico. He's not here to joke around. It's true. And he's also really good. You don't cross the border for jokes. He's a, he's a damn legend. So I'm going to take Eddie Mexico. And then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, Captain, my captain. Welcome to the team. Face roll, Griffin. 
I want, I want a little bit of that action. So it's between him and Squid, but the thing is, I'm a Falco boy. Yeah. Right? And that's, you know, I actually, I, I came to this realization the other day that I am, I'm only a Falco player when it conveniences me or I can connect with other people, because otherwise I just denounce him. A social Falco player. I'm like black passing. Like I have a white parent and a black parent, but I'm white passing, sorry. But when, when I want, I can claim that I have street cred. But I do it with Falco and Falcon. And Falcon's the white person in this an analogy. Is this chill? I think we need to have a conversation after this. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't think you understand who my stepfather is. Your stepfather? I Look, I know all about the Jamaican snake. Wow! <laughs> snakin. His I name's to, what? I was trying to make a rhyme, right? He's from Jamaica, right? J Jamaican snakin? Yeah. Snake's like the worst thing you... He's Jamaican snakin. I, I'm, I'm going to backhand you after this for Peter. <laughs> you make your next two picks. Jesus Christ. I apologize, God Peter. damn it. I want a black snake. Avid viewer. All right, all right, all right. Um, you... Are you up? No, okay, you chose... Oh, baby boy. Sweet, sweet baby boy. Is that eight for you? I'm at seven. You have two more, and then I will round it up with a last pick. Who I'm already writing down right now. Do you get first pick, last pick? Yep. Last pick's not good, don't like... <laughs> oh, yeah, this isn't fucking Dota. Um, I pick... Army has been chosen, Zipper. Thank you. I pick... Nut? And my boy... Noir. Sorry, John. Nut and Noir, I am going to pick Ty. That wraps up my list. That's good. I like that you picked that. I had to. I understand. Ty's a, try, Ty tries hard. Yeah, my concern player. is I'm looking through and I'm like, is Prince going to even go? Is he's Toph supposed to be going. Is going to try? <laughs> you know if what you mean? put like, Toph on your fantasy draft, I thought you would go for it too. I actually put him on there as bait. Because you no. might have been like, oh yeah, it's the reeds. Like, my brother, my brethren. Tough's good. He beat YCZ the other day. I think he almost beat Rocky. Why is he? Why? Ralph? YCZ, the Samus player? NorCal? Weekly? Rocky's a pretty good win. I don't know YCZ. I don't him. know if he's good. He lost. What? Saying like he beat him in a game. Oh. Well, that counts. Like, That's one. Um, no, Tough's great. I'm just saying, you know, on this panel of, like, I almost chose Epic Murloc. I, I would pick Epic Murloc over Tough. Sorry, Tough. So let's... Recap, and then recap. We, have, we have some bonus questions, right? Yes, we do have bonus okay. questions. Okay, so let's recap the teams. My team is SFAT, S2J, Pew Pew U, Lucky, Hugs, Eddie Mexico, Captain Face Roll, and Ty. Your team? Zane, Armis, Fiction, Santiago, Squidward, Absent Page, Nut, and Noir. I love you, Justin. I feel like this time I might have a leg up. I don't think you have a leg up. I think most I people Army. right now are saying. I'm just winning. Are you f okay, Remember but, when he beat Zane? Yeah, but you understand. He did that. Okay. And HBox isn't here. Bonus questions. Let's see them. What do you got for me? I haven't seen these before. I'm curious to see Bonus what they are. Bonus questions. Number one. How many SoCal players will be in top eight? Did you recreate the same terrible Photoshop that I did? Yeah, I was really. I was. Yes. You made fun of it. Yeah. They just recreated. The thing it. is, I say things that hurt you because I hurt inside, and. Now we're both living in that world, you know? Save it for your snake and therapist. Hey, you can't say that. <laughs> First question, how many SoCal players will be in top eight? I like this question. That's a really hard one to think off the cuff. Right. Um, and it, do you, like, qu certain questions, does SFAT count as SoCal? Yes. Is it living here right now? Yeah, SFAT's definitely SoCal by now. Okay. Um, Pew Pew is not, for instance. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, pretty there's, clear. There's no, like, edge cases. All right. Uh, how many are you going to run? I, I'll just say, well, I picked second. No, I picked first. So I'll go second here. Okay. SoCal has a bit of, like, I feel like they, they're very strong, but when someone comes to SoCal, they usually start making upsets. But then when SoCal goes somewhere else, that's when they perform. It's very strange. Yeah. So I'm going to say that it's going to be five, which may sound like a lot. Does sound like a lot, but, but it's five. Shoyo, I think, is SoCal too. He's been living here. Okay, uh, he, he counts. Five. I'm gonna go with five. Is such a good number. I'm gonna go with six. Okay. Because I don't think four will be the case. 
So you got five, I got six. How many top 100 players will go Samus ironically on stream? What the fuck is this question? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a hugs roast, right? There's gonna be pools. There's gonna be two waves of pools, singles. Someone in the top 100 is gonna think it's a gas to go Samus. So non-Samus means to go Samus? Yes. Two. One. Two is so dumb of you to say. Well, I'm going to ask Toph to go on. Is Don't it? do that. He's not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he was. <laughs> uh, current. Current is his VM rank. Wait, wait, wait. Can I change mine? Yes. If you fucking, if you're trying to pull some, some dark web Bitcoin magic, what are you writing? Zero? Zero. Uh, zero? Okay. I like one against zero. I think that's actually pretty even spread. Zero. All Who right. Place higher, Mrs. Cream Skunk, or video games suck. These are two tags of two uh, out of region players. Who's Mrs. Cream Skunk? I believe I know who that is. Actually, you think that they're familiar? Yes, I believe I know who both of them are. I think you do. Interesting. Well, you get to go first, so I get to take whoever you don't pick. I'm taking my man. Video games suck. Okay. The legend, the factor, if you will. Yes. Yes, definitely the factor. You can take video games suck. I will take the person who consistently beats video games suck, <laughs> as well as the rest of his competition out of state, Mrs. Cream Skunk. <laughs> MCS. The best, highest ranked player in Fiji on the Fiji PR. Yeah, Fiji PR, they're the only two. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, it's actually Zipper's home region, so Zipper was on that PR, of course. Yeah, he's third. Um, but I think these two are going to come and absolutely tear it up if they don't get too tipsy with Zipper the night before. Yeah. I mean, when a, when a Fiji reunion happens in the house, sometimes you just got to say forget it. Yeah. It's getting wild. Uh, let's just say the Fiji water isn't water. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the draft. I mean, what else is there really to, to talk about the roast? You're on the, the dais? Yeah. I don't know what dais means yet. I don't know. I, haven't I just know how you out. say it. It's like what you say. Yeah. So I'm on the dais. Uh, I have a couple jokes right now. Um, can you give us one? You I have something. Can you, can you give us a taste? Give Papa a taste. Okay, okay. Give Pop Pop a taste of it. All right. Hugo's so dumb. It's not how a roast works. I'm not going to ask how dumb is he because it's not how a roast works. He's so dumb. I'm going to eat. It's a train wreck. I can't believe you're doing this. If you do that live, oh God. I have a good joke prepared for you. Just wait. For me? Yes, for you specifically. I have a very big row set for you that I've, I, I will say I've spent almost 200 preparing for. 200? Dollars. What? Yes. No. Yeah. I swear, I swear. I, I'm, I won't I'm leak. really scared right now. I won't leak, I'm not bringing it to the rehearsal. What the fuck is it? What? what? Let's just say- Will it say make me sad? This channel, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna live kill your puppy. I'm res resurrecting your puppy from your <laughs> a youth boy. When I was a kid, <laughs> resurrecting champ. And then just <laughs> on stage. Yeah. It's gonna be so horrifyingly sad. I'll, be, I'll just be like, good roast. You're just good gonna roast. cry. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, no, it's a good roast. I can't leak to anybody what it is. Only one human on this earth knows. Is it Mrs. Cream Skunk? It's not Mrs. Cream Skunk. <laughs> I thought you were gonna ask that. No, it is Mrs. Cream Skunk's close friend and future husband, but okay. either way, you'll see when it happens. That's enough of the roast. Tune in Saturday, whenever yeah, it starts. The, it starts, the uh, stream's probably gonna start around noon. Doubles, singles, waves, top 32. The roast, we hope, will begin at 7 p.m. So tune in, we worked really, really hard on it. Mm. Now it is in the hands of Jaw Lord. And Price. you saw the names. What's that? The names there. Yeah. It's like outside of the roast, and the comedic value that you will see. Honestly, the tournament is like pretty sick. Like it, cause people are gonna take it serious. There's a pop bonus, people came down. I know Reno is thinking he's gonna farm doubles. Like it's, if, if the roast sucks ass, you can blame me. That's okay, cause that's what I did. It was, it was my job to make it good. But the tournament itself will be still worth watching. So that's the guarantee that slime can give you that some of it won't suck. Pretty good guarantee. I can't guarantee that in a lot of things. No, I can't. Huh. Especially with my ex-wife. You're not married. Next topic. You can't just make up an ex-wife. Enough of the roast. Oh, I can't make up. I can't make up an ex-wife. I can't make up a future wife or a current wife. Claire, she's not real. <laughs> don't bring her into this. You always bring her into this, and I don't want to hear it. 
She doesn't have childbearing What's hits. What's your ex-wife's name? What, what do you mean my ex-wife's name? Don't make me think of Claire. <laughs> what? Claire's my ex-wife. The same one? I don't want to get into it. Oh, shit. Next topic, Isabel in Smash. She never told me. All right. Woo! <laughs> so. What a doink. <laughs> you know, this was like page one of Isabel lewd. I didn't even type in a bad word. That's so bad, dude. That's so like there is vulgar, so dude. Fucking much Isabel smut all over the internet. I like how this is like a, a snapshot. Like those are tearing. It's not like that's the tear. Those are in the process yeah, it, of tearing. It's a motion. This yes. Is, it, yes. If the, the rest of, of the gift continued, it would be no longer. I. It would go. And I, she also <laughs> think about donuts. I guess I don't get it, but. Isabel dropped in Smash, much to the excitement of many. What are you doing? <laughs> it's not for you. It's for Mr. Isabel. Who's, Talk. who's clapping Isabel? Is it Tom Nook on the side? It's gonna be us when Ultimate <laughs> releases. <laughs> My furry dumb is about to begin. Yeah? You're just gonna. I'm waiting. Gonna, I've been waiting for Is. You're gonna get the tattoo, sign on the dotted line. I'm in. Yeah. Get me a suit. Yeah, tattoo it. Tattoo it right, right, right above my beard. So, Isabel was released much to the excitement of many Smash, not even Smash YouTubers, just YouTubers. And it, it really kind of made me aware of the market of gamers react videos, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't, I didn't realize, like, someone reacting to Isabel and Smash has like 300,000 views, maybe yeah. more. That blows my mind, because that's, they're creating revenue, basically, out of nothing. They're piggybacking on a Nintendo and also shows how powerful Nintendo is and there's this insane power structure that I'm just discovering and it's beautiful and horrible and weird but I would like to show just some of the insane hype that is coming out with Isabel if Zipper could, could roll the tape. Oh, it's, it's Animal Crossing. Uh, so this is the original trailer video? No, this is a reaction video. Like Animal Crossing. <sighs> Hoping that Zipper's going to push some sound through. So Keep it's going. the new Animal Crossing game for Switch, oh. I'm guessing? Come on, where's the Smash announcement? Can hear it. Where oh, is can hear Smash? It. Please Zip, give we good? me Smash. Where is Smash? Please give me yeah. Smash. Where okay. is Smash? Please Zoop. give me Smash. Oh. Isabel said Smash, but... No, she's talking about the mayor. Which is, I'm guessing, villager? This is the one you showed me last night? Yeah. Wait, is it Smash? It's probably Isabel and Smash. Oh yeah, it's a letter. It's Isabel and Smash. Who cares? Yeah, I saw the Smash logo. You saw it. Yeah, it's Smash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't give I don't a care. shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't huh. care. So, uh, that looks like she's a new character. Do I care? No. <laughs> okay, that's a cool grab, to be honest. But other than Sometimes that, grab is just cool. you, you gotta can see that. I really don't care. I wish she was an Echo Fighter so they didn't to spend, spend more time developing her than other characters, but. I guess so, whatever. Hopefully, there's another character at the end. Please be. There's going to be one more announcement, isn't there? <laughs> there wasn't. Um, Dude, so what I, a depressing I, video to watch. Why did you make us watch that? As you can see, hype for Isabel is at an all-time sweltering. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And people are really excited, and that's great. People really like Animal Crossing. People like Isabel The video is so goddamn depressing. Yeah, it's got like... <laughs> I hate that you made us watch that sad video. It's got like 100 views. Of the man who's just like, I don't give a shit. You know what I did? I went on YouTube and just typed in Isabel React and just went to the last page. And that's where I found that. Oh, yeah. And well, it, it, makes it gets sense. dark, but also gets wholesome because people are just like reacting without the. The peak the giant reactors audience. are like Etika, who's like positive, like maybe he's over the top, but he's at least positive about everything he reacts to. Yeah, but it's Which is like, like what you want to see. You don't want. I don't know. No, to be honest, do you want someone who's nice to your face, but like hates you, or someone that tells you, look, I don't fucking like you, but they're honest about it? Yeah, but this is this is like a hype trailer. This is like there's no there's no nothing here. There's I'm, no substance to the Isabel trailer. It's I'm not just like, saying you never lose character. anything by not being genuine. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I'm so, just saying, no, I don't think many people want to watch that. No, of course not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Which, which sort of dismantles an entire faux industry, if you're just being honest about stuff like that guy was. But, like, it's great. Everyone's really excited. But I, I do have to ask why. Now, I, didn't, I played Animal Crossing on the GameCube when I was, like, a child. Yeah. When I was a kid. I, I liked it a lot, but, like, I didn't... You know, I have a fucking Tom Nook tattoo or anything like that. I, I think Rossetti would be That would be, be sick. It would be actually pretty money, like on yeah. my neck. Yeah. <laughs> like be hype. Sub. I'm all Deal about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it makes me think about in Conspiracy Corner here. Oh, no. The amount of Isabel hentai. And I'm talking like just shit that's not even her in the nude, like this. The amount of Isabel hentai is so staggering on the internet. And Nintendo has to know about it. They have to, someone has to be at Nintendo HQ being like, yeah, ugh, <laughs> yep, that's real, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? Where's the conspiracy theory? The conspiracy is that they get more people to buy the game because they know that Isabel is a lustful object. And what Smash is doing, and what they're doing by choosing these characters to be released, they're picking characters that have a library of smut, knowing that they'll net a couple more extra sales. What do you think of that? When you told me this last night, I thought you were off your rocker. But when you're saying it now, you know what immediately popped into my head? The wagon. After I got past the image of the wagon, mm -hmm. can't stand it for a few more minutes, but I started thinking about Ludicario. Lucario? Lucario, yes. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Lucario, the Latin. Pokemon. Uh huh. He's not super relevant anymore in the Pokemon universe. You know, it's not like you have a. What's the little one? Celebi? Pokemon? Kirby. You don't have a Mew Pokemon. But you have a Lucario in the current Smash game, in Smash 4, and in Brawl. Yeah. You gotta believe that the toys that they're selling are high. Because I've heard Lucario is a big awakening for a lot of furrydom. Yeah. He looks kind of like a person. Mm -hmm. But he also has a butthole. You put those two together. Well, those aren't mutually exclusive. You know, most pe people who look like persons have buttholes. It's like yeah, more so the fact not that all of them have cute, floppy, blue ears. That's exactly the point. And mm. I think they sell a lot of merch with Lucario. And I think they've found a formula in the furry critters now, I will say, Isabel, I think it's a little different because they're also releasing the game. So it might be like a, a Roy or Marth thing. You know how they released the Roy Marth in Melee even before their Fire game came out? came out? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair. But build hype. how many people, I bet if you type in Woman Roy right now on Google Image Search, you're getting pages. You're getting a fucking tome of Roy with some pups. Yeah. Well, that, I, but Roy's just like a human. Like, that's not... It's true. What I'm saying Nintendo is... Nintendo can't control that. You know what I'm saying? You, you ever see that tweet from that fake Sakurai account? There's a fake Sakurai parody account. He had his biggest tweet ever was, can you guys please stop posting pictures of Mario and Luigi kissing? No, dude, wasn't that Miyamoto? Yeah, it was a fake Miyamoto account. Is it fake? I'm pretty sure it's fake. I dead-ass think that was real. You think that was real? I think it was real. I could be wrong. I'm almost positive I, I, it was Because I remember checking and be like, ha-ha, that's funny. It's like Miyamoto. Yeah, yeah. But then it really was. I, I could have my, my developer If that's here. real, that's wild. But either way, it's like they can't stop it. They could release like the most unattractive character, like just this ball of like slime or whatever, and everyone's like unattracted goop, to goop, it. Goop man. Yeah, slime man, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> and everyone's unattracted to it. And people would still somehow some find a way. Some people would be attracted to it. Some people would be attracted to the a slime. Con yeah. Conventionally, no human would ever be attracted to this slime. Well, some, maybe some. In my mind. I mean, if they were, it wouldn't be weird, but also, like, more people probably would. Then. It, well, it would be weird. It would be weird, is the point, because it's Not that weird. Be really weird. It would seem weird to me. Well, I guess differing viewpoints. Either way, that would still have pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. Yeah. Of slime pups. R right. Pups just. As big as the eye can see. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, sure, maybe they couldn't anticipate. They can't control when they release Roy that someone turns Roy into, like, an octopus and then gives him boobs and stuff like that. They can't yeah. control that. No. But this Isabel stuff, that didn't pop up in three days. No. This shit has been 
Her wagon has been dragged across the goddamn. She's gone <laughs> since days on the Oregon Trail a few times. Yeah. That wagon's been going back and yeah. forth. She's played the mini game where you shoot the oxen more times than anyone can count. What I'm saying is. I don't think it's wrong for Nintendo to say, you know what, a lot of people want to fuck this cartoon dog that we made. Let's just put her in the new game. You think that was the meeting? You think they were that crass and like just <laughs> forefront about it? How fucking funny would it be <laughs> if they just said that? I think they just want to fuck our dog. Let's put the <laughs> dog in the game. And Maybe. Also, it's also like, does it suck as Nintendo to watch your creations just become smut fodder? But does it not? How do they feel? I just want to know. They get the sales. Yeah, but... They get the money. Sakurai, you think he cares about sales? All he cares about is making his vision of a game, which sometimes might suck. I think he cares about sales because I think Nintendo cares about sales, and I think that's what they drive him to do. If, they, if, he didn't, if it was his way, I feel like he would have been done creating Smash games. That's he said that point. like 15 times. Yeah, I think he's kind of... But they're like, burnt. we want the money. And so he's like, and they're like, Sakurai, okay. people want to fuck this dog. Put the dog in there. And he's like, I don't know, guess I'll make her. It was like she spills a pot and then her, like she balloons. Yeah, it's great. Like, Keep the change, you filthy animal. And that's the transaction that goes yeah. on there. I, at first, I thought you were a little crazy for this one, but I actually think I might be coming around, which begs the question, let's throw out a couple guesses. This was character 68. Who's going to be character? It actually wasn't 68. I what, looked it up. What is it? I, I don't know, but it's not. This isn't the 69th character that's coming. Well, let's just yeah. guess. Uh, we can't character. guess. I just yeah. want to make that clear. It's not the 69th character. 69th's coming soon. Yeah. All right. Who, who's next? I mean, is it? have they filled their fuck quota? You know, do they have to? Can no. they now pick someone who's not as? They need a dark fuck. Delicious. A dark fuck? A top, if you will. What? Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow he the would hedgehog. be a top, too. He is just rambunctious Shadow. as all get out he, and tails power bottom rump rump pump and dump no that's shadows he, he likes to think he pumps and dumps but he'll cuddle you afterwards he pumps and dumps <laughs> no he's out the door says zipper he's gone <laughs> he's out of there <laughs> he dumps immediately all right look i mean shadow i think as an echo fighter it's pretty easy right i'm all in on shadow it's, it seems pretty easy but there also might be like some weird lawyer stuff going on like sonic adventure battle 2 maybe the ip there is like special, like with it was how it was with um, fucking I don't know snake. Or I don't know. Sure. Who knows? Okay. A, a bit more of a wild guess. You know, I wish I knew all the uh, trophies too, because I don't know the trophies. What's your guess besides? Uh, give me another one, anytime. It's like we're ordering at a restaurant, and I haven't decided yet. I like Shadow. I think Shadow's gonna happen. The only other guess that I could come up with off the fly would be Goku. <laughs> Goku? Yeah. That's I think it's even, happening. That can't happen. Why can't it happen? Bamco has to get involved. They have their own game. Goku. They, they would split sales. DBZ? That's Piccolo. That's no, not. that's instant transmission. Oh, that's right. Jesus Christ. Now, what's your guess? You have enough time. Shit. Come up with the, you were, Shit you were responding to me. You weren't even thinking. This is like the draft, except you you had options during the draft and you were slow then. Mm. Just That's what her, I need to look into about. the doink. <laughs> and <laughs> see. Enter the void. You know who I'd actually really like? And I think this would be fucking sick. Hmm. Shy Guy. Shy Guy's too like B roll mm. though. He's a red shirt. Mm. Oh. It's true. Yeah, he is. But Red shirt freshman the first four games. Let him come out for the fifth one. It's his super senior year. Shy Guy, it's your time to fly. I can't wait to see him in the new Smash. What did you write copy for Shy Guy coming out? Oh, that was, I don't know, that was so beautiful though. <laughs> Trying to get a was, job at Nintendo. That was great. <laughs> in a way, I'm looking at you, baby. <laughs> All right, look. I, I'm trying to think. I feel like they, okay, for one, I don't really play video games anymore. I'm not a gamer, right? So I don't know, like, know the IP. I didn't know what the fuck Isabel was, yeah. which was a problem. Because I've, I've been still beating off the Tom Nook, right? I'm just behind. Well, Isabel was in that game. No, she wasn't in GameCube Animal Crossing. She wasn't? No. She's, she's, very, uh, she's very, like, like Japanese, or at least I feel like what Americans view Japanese as. In the sense that she's, like, super polite-mannered. Huge doink. <laughs> of course. Right, right. <laughs> and she's always like, please cheer me on. I think that's just, like, Japanese... <laughs> 
kind of culture culture in general though yeah like it, oh, it, it maybe would maybe not it would be the same for like you know, if Tom Nook was in there. Actually, may, I, I fucking have no idea. I'm trying to think. Give me one. Give me one. Beautiful Joe. Wow. Beautiful Joe is your go-to? Beautiful fucking Joe, bro. Oh, okay, take it. I mean, take why it. not? I, I think literally know. all three of mine are going to get in, and yours is not going to be discussed for the next 10 years, as it wasn't discussed for the past 10 years. That may be. But if I go online right now and I type in beautiful Joe, that wagon, you know I'm having a... There's nothing. Nice. No. <laughs> you want to bet? Yeah. Come on. I, I bet. If you, if you Google that, that exact phrase, phrase... That wagon? Yeah, there's nothing. If you Google beautiful Joe fan... Okay, here we go. May make sure that safe filter is totally off. <laughs> All right, Zipper. Zipper has done the work for us. Yeah, I don't see no wagon here. Also, we're playing a risky we game. Are we are playing a risky game, Twitch. Zipper. A lot of people don't think this is live. I think this is one of those moments we can <laughs> yeah. prove it's live. Yeah, we can definitely prove it's live. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had a beautiful Joe. I really wish I thought about that more, but you know what? Fuck. They brought the dog from Animal Crossing out. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm out of touch. Fair enough. You're not a gamer anymore. I am. I stay gaming. I got my guesses out. You got one guess. Squeeze it out there. Either way, we'll see who the 68th, 69th, whatever the next number is, character next. But that's enough about Isabel, enough about Smash Ultimate. Let's backtrack mm. to last week where I issued out a challenge, a mashing challenge. Got a little heated, and it got a lot of traction. The tweet got a lot of hits, a lot of people responding, trying to figure out how to do it. And we actually had one person break the record, 11 to 8, which is my old record. Which is that uh, 1,128 A presses of a GameCube controller in 60 seconds. Yes. We had someone break it. His name is Wildlands. You can find him on twitch.tv forward slash Wildlands, great a phenomenal guy. streamer. He's great. Great guy. Uh, let's pull up the video of that because the man changed the game. He pulled out a method, and scroll to the bottom one actually, scroll down a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, keep going. This one right the here. The second one? Yeah, the second one you can see is hand placement. Okay. So that, that's what I really want to show here. Uh, and it's also kind of just audio porn to listen to it. Okay. So this is on some Amaranth ASMR. What if Amaranth started mashing? I have, to, I have to re sub. Tier, tier two? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you can see here, uh, he's doing this technique which is wild to me. It's like he's grating his nails or some cheddar cheese and he's mashing the A button, both together. Uh -huh. And he's doing this, which is something that I've never seen. I knew there was a slide technique. I knew that existed, but I've never seen the, both the slide and the thumb. I've never seen that before. Okay, so he's sliding three fingers across the A button, but he's also pressing the A button in between with his thumb. Yes. And do you think those clicks are giving him the edge? Uh, I'll get to that in a moment, but no, I don't. Uh, and what I will say, so my method, if you saw my old pin tweet, which I now removed, uh, and I'll get to that in a moment as well, uh, is double thumbing. And uh, just listen to the audio here, it's just really satisfying to listen to, uh, and I'll quiet down now. <laughs> what, what, how, how much endurance? How much power? Just get the audio and just quote it on Twitter when you see Isabel's wagon. <laughs> Gamers react to Isabel's wagon. Wildlands.tv. So he changed the game. He broke my record. This was the day after I sent out the challenge on Twitter. Well, so this, this was the Wednesday. second one. He broke it and then yes. he uploaded this second one. He uploaded this second one record. with his hands visible in it because he didn't have his hands visible oh God, before. Dude, please tell me that was recording. <laughs> it would be a shame. So then. It's all right, well, it sounds like he just, he's just. New record, baby. Yeah, you got it, baby. Oh my god, my arm hurts. Oh. That's the toll it takes. <laughs> it's just the biggest pop off. Can we do the 10 second challenge next? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. The 61 oh, sucks. Poor Wildlands. I, I heard he said on Twitter he did it a bunch of times and his hand is actually super just sore. Like raw. And he couldn't do it the next day. I'm shaking. That's right, brother. You'll get through. You'll get through. So, Zipper, <laughs> let's close out that one. That was Wildlands beating my record. I think he got 1193 or 1183. He got really close to 1200, which is an average of 20 clicks per second. Now, I started to try to beat it. 
I took my attempt at beating it, uh, and I, do, I believe we have the video for this, it's called Blood Scream uh, Zipper. I tried my heart out to try beating this mash with my, my, with my technique, with my uh -huh. double thumb. And I tried and I tried and I tried, and I, and I promise, I promise I tried as hard as I could. I believe you, I fought Ludwig. through, you know, every single like block that my brain had of pain threshold, <laughs> stop. And I was like, no. It said, stop. I was like, no. And it said, fucking stop, or you're gonna have severe tendinitis for the rest of your life. And I said, no. And this was the result of that. We can pull up the, we have a brief video of my attempt there. Headphone warning, by the way. Headphone warning, definitely. By the way. And you're just, and you're screaming. Yeah, so uh, that, that, that yell was cosmic splitting. <laughs> No sound on it. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. There's no sound because unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, get it. Then, okay. <laughs> so you don't need to. So you know what awesome. though, dude? I watch this so clip a lot. Yeah. You know why? Because you look. Oh, fuck. Pull it up. When you have up. just like the fucking Sorry, the face where you're just like spent, you look like you've just been like you like slammed ten beers and you're like staggering through the night, but you're like this like fucking. Ah, it pisses me off. You're so fucking alpha, Ludwig. You don't deserve... You don't deserve what God gave you. I want to sub to him right now. You don't deserve it. God damn it. Fuck you. Stop. Rip it! Stop it. Rip it! Oh my god. You really do. Like, you look like a rock star. But I didn't beat his record. 18.45 clicks per second. I think my peak was 1153, 1155. I didn't get to that 118, 1190. I couldn't. I could not do it with two thumbs. Averaging 20 per second for 10 seconds is hard enough for two thumb, but doing it for the full 60, I had to ice. Uh, it, it was beyond painful. It was beyond painful. And okay. I eventually had to give up after six out of like just sheer pain and I, my hand Dude, wouldn't move anymore. Let's see. So I thought I was gonna call it quits, but I thought to myself, well, let me see what this slide thing's all about. Let me give it a go. Let me just see, like, I just kind of, I was curious how to do it. So at first, I was doing it with my knuckles because I didn't realize. Okay. And I actually, uh, you can't see, yeah. I actually just cut up my knuckle. Uh, and then I realized that I could do it with my nails. And so this is my attempt at doing this, the mash challenge, Wildland style. Now, I will note, I, ref I didn't do the thumb. I tried doing the thumb, and I noticed that my thumb wasn't quick enough that I would be holding it down during the slide. It would make me lose clicks. Okay. So I, I would have one and then I'd miss two here and I'd only get like two total rather than just getting the three. So I said, forget about the thumb. I don't think that's a smart technique. I put it to the chest and I went like this, like I'm... Um, like you were kind of like, like kind of jacking off like a, but like pointing someone's wiener. Like if you had, ch like... It's like you know if someone the, the, slipped their wiener under your arm and they said, load me up, and fire yeah. me off. <laughs> and you're just like wielding it like a weapon. Like you, were, like you were like you were the mayonnaise guy be behind the hot dog guy at a fo uh, football game. Yeah, and you're just Can like... Can I get a hot dog? And you're like, yeah, you want some mayo on that? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and I just threw some mayo on it. So that's that's what it was like. Uh, let's pull up the video for that one. That's Lud Break. Uh, and see when I broke the world record. Now, you can already see I'm about 35 seconds through. I'm at about 750. This is actually when I break the record the first time. I switched 35 seconds through from the three finger to the double thumb. Yeah, I noticed that. Why did you do that? This was early on, and when I was doing the three finger, I would lose it because I didn't have the technique. This is probably my third try. That's your third try? Third try. Using this technique? Using the slide, like figuring it out, and I, and I switched. And you know, what is it like three seconds left and you know you're breaking it? Like, what is it like when you're in the home stretch and you know you got it? Is it like, is it better than actually winning? I'll tell you, I was disappointed. I wasn't happy. Because I realized that this wasn't earned from the same man that ripped apart his shirt and screamed at the top of his lungs. This was earned at someone who found out that a gun can kill a lot quicker than a throwing knife. Okay. And so... But you spent your whole life throwing knives at trees. Exactly. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, my father taught me, and his father taught him. In Jamaica. And his father taught him. Hidden. In Jamaica. We killed the Jamaican snake and <laughs> Starfish and... And suddenly Trees. someone was like, here's a gun. And I was a good shot. But I was like, this isn't me. This isn't what I do. And I'll show you just how easy it is. I swear to God, that was my third try. Shortly after, I broke it again. My final score 
Uh, I think we might have it here. Ultimate world record. I'll, we'll show it to you guys right now. This is you, and it doesn't look like you're trying. Also, I'm not. with the sound on, you can, like, it just sounds like, oh, you know what's funny? The A button is chroma keyed. That's cute. But yeah, you just did it. I, I honestly wasn't trying that hard. This is like the next day. I was pumped up because I, I got a really good score, 1452. That's insane. But it, it wasn't, I didn't feel like I had accomplished much. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I, I didn't feel like I did anything. I just felt like the same amount of joy when I Amazon delivery something to my house. Okay. Like, oh, it's a given. It's going to get here in two days. Yeah. It was the same way with this. Oh, it's a given. I'm going to break my record. It's easy. 1452, 24 fucking clicks a second. That's insane. That's a lot. But I'm now it's like imagine. my views shifted. I'll show you guys a brief tutorial that I put. You can see it right here of how to do this. I very casually, someone asked me, did it in 10 seconds. I said, yeah, all you got to do is put it between the... So is it a pressure thing? Are you like... Are you basically like monitoring the brown pressure you're putting on the A button? 25.2 clicks per second, and I did that casually. And my reaction here, you can't hear it, but you can see what I mouth. That's stupid. It is. <laughs> it truly is stupid. Because I'm not even trying to show you, like I'm not even trying to do a tutorial. I'm literally just going, hey, it's, the, it's like this. It's like the worst hand job anyone's ever gotten, and suddenly it makes you the best masher. Okay. Wait, that's are it. you saying the, the double thumb is the best hand job? Well, I wouldn't even say that's, that's not even, that's something even better. That's like, you turn around, bend over, and I'll... Dinner for two. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is I, I didn't get any joy out of it. And you can go home right now if you go to my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Ludwig Auger, and I have a pinned tweet for how to do this mashing if you want. I've had a lot of questions. How to download anti-micro to mat your buttons, get the controls working. All that's available there as well as how to mash both double thumb and three finger. So you can try it at home and see how easy it is yourself. But I'm saying there's no love in it. There's no joy, there's no passion for me. It's like a gaming expo. Right now, I'd like to say I'm officially retiring from the slide mash method. I'm ending, and it's not because I don't think I can push it further. I really think tonight if I wanted, I could get 1,500, 25 clicks per second. But there's no joy in it for me. And if there's no joy, then there's no purpose. I'm not achieving my ikigai, so I'm not gonna push the method any further. You guys at home, feel free. I am still the king. I still stand atop mash god. But I'm not just the mash god for three finger. I'm the mash god for double thumb. And let me tell you, Slime, double thumb actually works in Mario Party. You can go home and you can be the best three finger masher slide man you've ever seen. But once people say, hey, let's play Mario Party, you're nothing. You're weak and you're pathetic. Why, wait, why? Polling. The game polls. 60 frames per second, you might have heard of it. Documentary with a very ugly man. Large forehead. Oh, you're roasting him. Yeah, good stuff. But it won't work. I tried it. I tried it literally after the tutorial. I went and I said, I did it. Guess what I got? Up domination? Guess what? I loaded up Domination Mario Party 4, which has a cap of 160 matches. Guess what I got? Just guess. I don't know. It's probably low, like 130. 47. What? 47. Why? Because when you do one and then you do the other three, they're so quick together that it registers as one click. So it's like every single time, rather than getting the three piece Holy and back shit. getting the three piece, I'm getting like a one piece. It's pathetic. Wow. And so it really, thumb, it has like no real world application. No, because it's- Ironically, this is like learning to throw knives really far. Yeah. Because everyone just uses guns. Yeah. It, it actually is like that because the insane thing is this is for a GameCube controller, which you can only use for like GameCube games, which are all 60 frames per second, which are all going to be pulled. So you can be the best three finger slider, but it's only going to work for this very one specific thing. I stay two thumbing. I respect the one thumb men out there. <laughs> That's a hard life. If you're a one thumb man, <laughs> you are you are literally throwing leaves. Yeah, at, at very high speeds. You're just throwing speeds. dull sticks. <laughs> yeah, and hoping. And you're insane with it. And somehow you, you a couple somehow you get a kill. A couple times you get a kill. You take a deer down with that one. So I'm Ugh. officially retiring. I'm a two thumb man for life. I might try to get two thumbs, twelve hundred. That's a goal of mine. That's twenty clicks per second over sixty seconds. Two thumbs. That's really hard to achieve. I think that's a very uh, good goal for me. But I'm done sliding. I'm not going for fifteen hundred. You feel free at home. No shame in the game. Now let me ask you, do you me. think like in the future when this is an Olympic sport, it, mm -hmm. if, is maybe that 
the double thumb method is like a separate category. It's like high jump versus uh, pole jump, pole vault, sorry. Well, I, it depends, right? Because we go into the issue of we're mashing with GameCube controllers, but what about if we do this with a PS4 controller? Like, GameCube's better. What's the software we're going to use? Mashing is for gamers. It's for gaming. So if you're mashing on some online website that's meant to track clicking, it doesn't correlate to us gamers, and I don't think it would be with the sanctity of the sport for the Olympics to have it be as the website rather than be an actual game. I'm saying it has to be a game. I'm saying there probably will be some pulling enabled because that's how games are. That's you're genuine like, to the game. It, like you're putting in a sort of limitation. You're putting in a limitation because that's how the games are. And that's what the games do. And that's, and that's authentic. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, I mean, it's not like they're running in mud because sometimes there's mud on the ground if they're running track and field. It's like they're running in the mud because there's always mud on the ground. That's how games are. There's always mud on the ground, and suddenly you're like, well, I found a way to have no mud. And it's like, oh, cool, but when I go home, I'm only running in mud, and same with everybody else. Okay. So why are we running on flat, smooth surface? It doesn't make sense. So you're, should there be a difference between double thumb, single thumb? Should there be categories? That's my question to you. For this, no. For this, for this challenge right here, no. Because this mash. challenge right here is top match. It's the websites, whoever gets fastest. As long as you're not using like a shirt, a spoon, or lube up, your can't fingers. Lube up. Your fingers, you can't lube up your fingers, relax. You can lube up your controller, but your fingers? I feel like you should be able to lube up. Then you could shirt, right? Because what's the difference between lube and shirt? And then if you can shirt, why can't you spoon? You You're know what right, I mean? it's a slippery slope. Yeah, that's no why I'm saying intended, no to lube. It's a little bit intended. It's like using um, the material for pitchers. You know how sometimes you use like tar or something? It's kind of like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's why I'm saying no lube, personally. You can lube up your controller. My A button's phenomenal. Obviously, it's the only thing I look for. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's the same category. I'm saying when this goes to the Olympics, though, it'll probably be like an uncapped domination, which I got to get in the works for that. Just if, if anyone is out there who knows how to modify a Mario Party ISO that can make it so domination doesn't cap out and stop at 160, that would be very valuable to the boys at Off the Sticks. I'll go further. If you're able to edit Mario Party at all, <laughs> on the GameCube, I will pay. I will pay big. I, I mean, I'll pay all the money that we're getting from Diaper Quest. You know, I, I, I'm going to pay lot. a lot of money. The Diaper Quest money is, they, they just have so much. You want that diapy money. Yeah. You want it. It's, it. it's almost equal to the amount of money that people get from paying for Isabel Hentai. Yeah. It's written neck and neck. I, I buy, I mean, I got the game. I rolled a, a, a Diaper Warlock. Yeah, and I got an Isabel Hentai, and I, I rolled... Anyway, that's enough about the mashing. Uh, I think we've gone through all of it. Again, if you want to find out how to do it yourself, you can find it on my Twitter. Yeah, thank you for that fascinating journey into a, a week in which a record was set, broken twice, mm -hmm. three times actually, I think, in a week span. Yes, and now to be clear, the new record is 1452. 1452 is the record. Feel free to post the video. I still applaud and implore everyone to do it. Uh, I would absolutely shout you out on Twitter uh, and on the show probably. So. Just give your best shot. Yeah, I'd we were going to have Wildlands call in, but you just took it back. Yeah. So we just... <laughs> the, oh, the day he posted it, the whole day, just adrenaline you were was pissed. coursing through me. I remember you came home, you were sad that day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just like, it, it's time. <laughs> and it was like, I didn't know. It was, it was so unknown to me. It's like when Goku came out of the hyperbolic chamber and he had to enter his fight versus Cell, it's like, I've been training, but I, I don't know if I'm going to win. I feel like I'm the best I've ever been, but I don't know if that's enough. And for me, this time it was. Well done, Ludwig. I, I think the first time I've ever been truly proud, but not angry at you. Seal with a kiss? Some other time. That's enough about mashing. Uh, let's move on from that. Um, we've got a little bit of a more heated debate, I think, or maybe just a conversation. We'll see. We're talking about the SoCal exclusive fast food chain known for their burgers. California and some of Utah. It's and actually in more places. It's actually it's, in Arizona. It's, just, it's not SoCal. Texas. I, no, you lied. SoCal famed, I should say. That's where they got the fame. SoCal was the inaugural place. Uh, that is true. But in the, and out. It is in more places. We're talking about in and out. In and out. In and out. It's great. It's so good. It's wonderful. We love Schmidt. 
we, I mean, it became a ritual a couple times. It's just when you're done you, with whatever you're doing with the boys, you hit Schmidt and Schmout. Yeah. And you get whatever you goddamn want. Yeah. They have burgers and they have fries and it, they have fries. It, you know, it's almost like, you know, everyone's doing their thing and then like it ends and then someone just pops their head in and it's like, Schmidt? And yeah. then everyone's like, yes. And we go. Right. And so there is this tweet that got some, uh, the reason why we're pretty much even looking at this is because Hugs, the rampaging douche of Twitter that he is. Can I just say, I can't wait to stop talking about him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like for once. Yeah. It, it's like, it, it's just so like, I don't want to talk about this man. Like, <laughs> we're sucking Sucks. everything out of him. Like we're sucking him dry. There's almost no content left to get from him. After that? next week, we're going to toss him aside. I, I'm going to forget him. He doesn't exist to us anymore. After this week, but for this week, in and out he's a food snob. He likes in and out fries. But this tweet was popping off. Hidden Atrioc numbers. It says, <laughs> everyone, in and out sucks. Cali resident. Okay, but did you order your burger from the secret menu after praying to your God on the 12th hour of the fifth day of the freaking week and make sure you got your burger medium rare with the correct combo of toppings with a side of special fry? All right, so here's the thing. I am not going to lie. When I, I'm Colorado, when I moved here, actually, I tried uh, in and out the first time in Las Vegas. It sucked. It didn't suck, but I was like, everyone's been talking about this like it was the goddamn. Yeah. And it wasn't. It was burger and cheese. Yeah. On it. And I was like, whatever. People talk about it like it's Baby Driver. Is it Baby Driver? People talk about Baby Driver like it's good. and it, I felt like that's the reaction you have, where people type it up way too much, and then you go to it, and it's like, well, it was good, but like, you Whose guys- Whose fault is this? Said it was Citizen And why Kings. does it happen? You know, like, in and out isn't God's gift to Bergs, but- It's God's gift to the poor. I don't know how to frame this. It's so fucking cheap. It's so fucking and cheap. It's Decently good food. Yeah, and they do, and they, it, and you know what? I can, I can look aside at all the weird Christian stuff. I don't care about that. Maybe sure Jesus did create us. I don't care. Yeah. Maybe he, maybe that guy killed the other guy, and hey. then assault, and the devil was a guy. I stay capitalizing my G's. And your O's, apparently. Oops. But. Some bigger all. I feel like I, the thing about In and Out is like it's like this this vehement like fuck In and Out, fuck you. And I think the problem is that people are putting way too much of their identity inside of a burger company. That's such a good point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're just like I am a fucking I can't define myself. It's like on your Tinder profile you say you really love coffee. It's like, that's all you got? Like, that's as deep as you can go inside of yourself and understand how to define yourself as a human is the burgers you like? Come on, son. And to be, then I don't blame this guy for being pissy. I mean, he doesn't need to be pissy, but like, in and out sucks. Does it? No. It's fine. Find me a fucking place that I can get a burger for $3 and it tastes that good. I mean, literally find me a place that cuts their potatoes fresh in-house, find me a place. You know what I will say? In-N-Out fries get a lot of shit, and they're all like, you, if you gotta put a bunch of shit on your fries, you gotta, you're not making good fries. Dog, they cut potatoes. You just don't like potatoes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you just like the salt. They're, they're fucking right there, and then they cut them, and then they make fries. You just don't like, the vegetable. I will say I'm not the biggest fry fan. I don't usually get the fries. I think they're too thin for me. I like a little more tato. I think they're a little dry. Yeah, because I think it's because they're too. I think it's because they're too thin. Because there's a lot of breading or on something. It. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But I do like Five Guys because Five Guys has the thick fries and they got like the big burgers. But I'm not leaving there without losing 15 bucks. You're taking and you got to stare at a giant fucking thing of peanuts. I don't like that. Well, it makes like, me feel like I'm in the circus. I like the, pe the peanut thing. It's cool. The peanut thing is not cool. What the fuck do you mean? The, the peanut, circus it's free fucking peanuts. Yeah, it's a, it, some peanuts? Have you been in the circus? Some fucking peanuts? Have you been in the circus? Yeah, once. I went and I threw up on a camel and I never went back. Why did they let you? Th why were you that close to the camel? I was with my mom. I was riding a camel with my mom and I threw up because it smelled like shit. Why did you get to ride it? What circus is this? What kind of, where did you live when you were like a child? a traveling circus. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. They just let kids and moms ride camels? Yeah. It had two humps. 
I mean, it was gross. I, th I think I threw up on my mom. And you threw up on it. Yeah, and the camel and everything. It well, smelled so bad. Ugh. I hate camels now. I'm a camel fan. I'm a peanut fan. <laughs> Damn near slapped you silly when you said you didn't like that <laughs> I'll just say, it's like, uh, what's that? Have you ever been to, like, I think it's Texas Roadhouse. You ever yeah, been to yeah. a restaurant? Yeah, I love Texas Roadhouse. It, they throw the peanuts on the fucking I, ground I like it's so a fucking, fucking brothel or something. Yeah, you, you bring in your, your fucking boots. That's okay. so stupid. You bring, in, you bring in your Clarks and you just step on the nuts. Why? Grab a couple more. Sometimes I just grab them and throw them on the fucking ground. <laughs> yeah. like, why don't you just throw your finished Yo, food your on the beer. ground too? Just like eat like a half a rack of ribs and just toss it. Yeah. That's, that's sick. filthy. That's sick. That's like a medieval, that's like what medieval food places should be. It's no. just like here's, here's your leg here's of the, lamb. Here's how I can tell you never worked in a restaurant. I did work at a food shop. That sold food. Like a grocery store? <laughs> no, it was like a mart. And then we made sandwiches and pizza. Okay. Did they throw pizza on the fucking ground for fun? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're really fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's a I'd, policy, I'd right? You up. sign up for that job, and you know you got to sweep up peanuts all fucking I made 725 an hour. Now, yeah, now mogul? 775. Mogul. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I think the idea, it's just something we need to move past of, like, identifying ourselves through the benign choices that we make in our life, right? Because that's just, like, that's the idea of, like, corporation stranglehold on our happiness, what about right? You live a shit life, but the only thing that makes you feel good at the end of the long, hard day is a fucking burger. That's all it takes? Because if that's the case, then that's not going to last. It's that's insane how brands do that, right? Huh? It, it, every brand does that. iPhones do that. Coke and Pepsi do that. Yeah, advertising is based on making you feel all right. And not only that, but it, like to the extent where you're like, you drink Pepsi. Like, Pepsi? No thanks. Uh, I'll I take like my Coke. RC Cola. That's weird because I'm weird. I want Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Uh, is Monopoly dollars okay? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever met anyone like that? What? Yeah, it, it's just like a really fucking tired meme. It's like oh, a yeah. very old meme. Okay, okay, okay. Look. But what I'm saying is like, what? How these take brands this? don't care about you. No. They care about their bottom fucking line. Let's take it a step further, though. Identify yourself with a brand? Black. Identify yourself with your main? Main? Main in Melee. Like in Smash? Yeah. What about it? Is that weird? <sighs> no, because... I'm a chic main. Who gives a fuck? Who have you beat, chic main? Is it? No, I think that, I think that applies. Because that's, that's more of an extension of your personal character than just eating f the food, I think. I don't know. Maybe. But at the same time, it's like, why? Is it because, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it gives that context. I think here's why. Because when you choose a certain character, you go through a struggle. Whether even Fox, you get comboed. Puff, you die fat. Everyone has their weaknesses, right? And choosing to live with those weaknesses is what makes you, it was, is what makes that choice sort of matter. You know I, what I mean? think the people who actually go through those weaknesses don't have that as their bio. I think the people who actually have grinded the game hard enough to really make it through the weaknesses, really beat tough opponents with tough characters, tough matchups, aren't putting that in their bio. Fox main BTW. By, by you know what I'm saying though? TW. Hugo's not putting Samus main in his bio. I mean, he was the best Samus in the world. But like Noir's not putting like his main in his bio. Army's not. He might. I don't know. I don't, want to out. I don't want to say that. What I'm trying to say is that like <laughs> most of the people have just picked a main and said, oh, that's who I main. And then they play them at like, a couple tournaments. And they There's haven't... something wrong with being proud of your decisions in life. But if, if your decisions are just fucking boring, then that's dumb. Unless you're doing it ironically, which is kind of dumb, but still acceptable. Hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. This show's been way too agreeable. I know, it's not. It's we should have brought up the peanut butter conversation. We need, <laughs> we, need to, we need to just get meaner at each other. You guys again. have to tune in next week, maybe? Next week, maybe. Next week, maybe, we have a, we'll tease it. A pretty heated debate. We've he already is, fought a little bit in the house. He's the dumbest bastard that I've ever met in my life. He crazy for this one. Dead ass. Mash God so says that peanut butter is not a solid. So what is it, a liquid? We'll get into it next week. You're so fucking stupid. You think dude. it's a solid, you think it's a solid. I'm a little more intelligent than that. My two degrees that I've hung up on this wall over here. Yeah. You put they them. tell me that that's false. How'd you get a big one? Like a poster size. Just bought it. Oh. My money. Oh. My seven seventy-five an hour. 
That's enough about In and Out. Uh, we're just trying to defend it. I don't know why we spent the whole time defending a brand and then. I saying think it's weird in the to... kitchen last night we were like, "Hey, we should talk about In and Out," and they're like, "Yeah," because I. What did we even come to? I think we both just really love Schmin, and we were just sad that people were like, "Fuck Schmin." It's like, oh, I, I like Schmin. Yeah, Schm- we we just wanted to defend something that we like reasonably. We have memories there. I just think the reason people were bashing it, I wanted to make it clear. To be fair, if if you say we have memories there, then that's again buying into the whole idea of like the corporation is creating the matrix in which we enjoy our lives and. Go donkeys! Oh Christ! <laughs> donkeys we can't still get death. out, man. We're fucking. We can't leave. I, I've been getting Krispy Kreme every goddamn night. Oh, God. That's so many calories. Nick comes into my room at 3 a.m. and he says, Hey. You trying to run it? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. Uh, and that's <sighs> enough from us at Off the Sticks. We just have one more thing. One final message. Take it away. This one, everyone might be a little familiar with with myself. I myself have rallied against the concept of big fan culture in the past. But really, there's nothing wrong with being someone who enjoys and appreciates somebody else. Be it for ability in sports or gaming or creating music or content they enjoy. I appreciate Ludwig, and I'm a fan and a close friend. You can be, this, you can be both. You can be the same. And even me, as a low-level content-type shitter person, I get people that come up to me and they say, hey, I like your stuff. I, I, I like what you made and what you do. It's great. And I say, thank you. And I appreciate it. And I really do mean it. And it means a lot. But most of the people that approach me at places like tournaments or on Twitter are people that are trying really, really hard to be funny or really, really hard to be edgy or shitting on the people that are trying to be funny and then trying to determine that they're better than them to me and it's, it's weird and it turns me off and it feels wrong. And I hate the idea of there being some sort of manual to interacting with me because there's not. And if there was, it would just have one rule, which is be yourself, right? Just wholly and completely be yourself. Because the minute that you go up to anybody and you turn it into an opportunity to be wacky or make an impression or something like that, then you've turned that interaction into a transaction. And this person that you're talking to is no longer a person, but they're some sort of vending machine that you're just banging on the side of to get validation to come out. And that's not really fair. It's not fair to that person, but it's mostly not fair to yourself because you don't need slime to think you're funny, to be funny, and you don't need Mangus to think you're a legend. And you don't need Ludwig to think you're an insane masher or anything like that. If you want people to know that you like them and you care, just tell them that. Because the people like me aren't going to remember or care about the guy that tried to do an insane, hilarious inside reference and show me that he's a cool person or whatever. I'm going to remember the guy in the Denver airport at 6 a.m. in the security line when I was coming back from Flatiron, and he just shouted, and he says, hey, I love MPL. I'm so glad you're doing it. And that's all it takes, and there's nothing wrong with that. The people we remember are the ones that make us feel like it was all worth it for just a second. So as the Korean K-pop boy band sensation BTS says, love yourself. Don't seek validation from sources that aren't renewable because yourself's all you got. That's it. And that's all from us at Off The Sticks. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Tune in next week. Got some hotter topics. Maybe even hotter bods. We'll see. Not hotter bods. I got so gross. Look at what I got. Look at it, lover. Just, just don't want to. Look at me. Just it's so big. Look at me. Boisterous. Just one time, stare at it. Stare at it. I don't. Stop pushing it. Oh, I'm not even wearing a belt. Ugh.